new material, once again, make it shadeless. And we're gonna go textures, new texture. We're going to uh, make it a image. Open, and I'll just go to sign one that I already created in GIMP. And I'm going to package that into here. Um, so that the image is saved. So we have that right there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a keyframe for it and I'm going to cheat and use once again their animation to oh haha <laughs> let's um, go into edit mode and we want to pivot it at the top like it's swinging down and it's by default going to pivot on this little center dot here so what we're going to do is we're going to select all our vertices grab them and move them down on the z-axis a little bit go out of edit mode back to our camera view and let's move that whole thing up just a little, oh, let's go back to where that keyframe was that we created. Move it up to about here, I think will be good. Now replace that keyframe. Now we can go back. We're going to rotate this up like so, set a keyframe and go back. <clears throat> let's go back to all the way to the beginning and set a keyframe there. Well, no, I take that back. <laughs> We'll just do it to right about there. Move this all the way up out of view. Make sure that it doesn't come into view before we want it to. If we go back all the way to the beginning, it's above our camera, so it won't be in the view during the beginning part there. So now if we hit Alt-A here, and we can see our animation. It comes swinging in. Let's add a little more animation to uh, that um, sign, though. Let's go up a few frames. We'll go up 10 frames. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have it row swing forward some so that it's swinging like a sign go up 10 more frames and I'll have it see how it looks in the camera view here okay and we will rotate and swing it back quite a bit and go back 10 more frames it's still in view so let's keep it animating uh, we will rotate it back like this up 10 more frames that should be good let's see how that actually looks when rendered out okay so you notice it's cutting off the edges of the frame and that's because we added the texture over here and I shouldn't have done that what we need to do is actually remove that texture and in our image viewer here we're going to have our sign selected hit tab to go into edit mode hit U, and we're gonna say unwrap and then we are going to click on our drop down here we've actually already imported the sign so there and we want this to basically wrap around the edges of this image like so so now if we hit F12 we get nothing right there and uh, don't draw a blank now Chris we're almost done uh, <laughs> Let's, let's remove this texture. Er, right here. Go to texture. Oh, why am I drawing a blank? I, I remember how to do it in 2.4. There's a texture face. There we go, texture face. Now once again, my words are kind of stretched out and it's because of how I made it in GIMP. Uh, we can try to avoid that in the future. Um, also, the sign is kind of, let's do this and just grab this and drag it down a little bit so the words are a little bit bigger. Pretty good right there, I think. Save it, all we have to do is the last sign here. Let's go back to our our uh, view here, we'll go to our AVI, hit F12, make sure we didn't change, okay, just making sure I didn't accidentally change the texture on that. Zoom in a little bit here, and we will move forward to the next. Okay, so right here is where the next sign comes in. Once again, I'm cheating by 
following the animation of the next one. So what we want to do is we're going to add in a plane, rotate it on the X 90 degrees, scale it on the Z axis like so. And we will grab it, move it up to about here. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to actually go into edit mode, grab them all, move them all down, all the vertices down below that pivot, pivotal point there and uh, grab it, move it up again, and we'll start again. Well, before we start moving all that around, let's go edit mode, A to select all, U, unwrap, and we will go image, uh, open, and I will choose my sign two. And since I did that before I destroyed the image, it's gonna be a little bit easier to just grab on the X and move those like so. Uh, so once again, if we hit F12, it's gonna render it out. That's just black because we haven't given it a material yet. Go to material with this selected. Scroll all the way up. New, shadeless, face texture, F12. There we go. It is upside down though. That is no problem, that happens. Go back into edit mode. A to select all. We're going to rotate um, 180 degrees. So to hit R and type in 180 on your keypad. Now if we hit F12, there we go. Now we just need to animate the sign. We're almost done. We're going to go grab, 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 and grab. Now if we hit F12, perfect. And let's animate that. Let's go back to our view here. Once again, just hit F12. Make sure I didn't accidentally change that texture. I'm always worried about changing the textures by accident without realizing it. Zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hit I to insert a keyframe there. And we're going to go back to about here. Rotate it. Oh, and you know what? The sign should be further back, I think. It's kind of right on the other one. So let's go back to that keyframe we already created. Um, and we're going to grab that and move it back. Actually, leave that one there. No, we'll move it back. The problem is I should have moved this one forward because it should have gone over the sign there, um, which we could still do. But I'm sure this tutorial is getting boring with you guys at this point. Um, what I should do, I'll just cheat. And what I'll do is I'll grab this sign and I'll just go whoop and animate it up out of the way. And then I'll come back to this one. There we go. Little cheat there. Uh, oh, but did I set a keyframe for it? I did, or else it would be here right now. Okay. Okay. Sorry if this is getting boring. Here we go. We're going to go back to here. We're going to rotate it up, set a keyframe. We are going to go back a little bit further, just a few frames, and move this completely up out of the way, like so, so that it comes dropping down pretty fast, drops into frame. We're going to anim anim animate. It's uh, swinging a little bit. Rotate it back like so, so we got a little bit of a swing going on there. Rotate it back this way a little bit. And just getting that animation how it should be, and it's out of view. So we are good. I think we are done. Let's save it. And let's watch the animation once all the way through. Drop down, swing, sign comes swinging in. Sign comes swinging in, circle comes up. Oh, we haven't animated the lemon yet. Let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is select the lemon, go to our first camera view, the thing's rotating the entire time. I'm going to hit I to insert a keyframe. And uh, really we just care about rotation. So let's uh, keyframe for rotation there. And I think it should make a complete rotation every, let's say, second and a half or so. So we'll go up um, 50 frames. And what I'll do is I will hit R 
and I will rotate it on the Y axis. Down here, if you look right here while I'm rotating it, it will tell you how many degrees I'm rotating it. Let's rotate it to just about, you know, you know, 350, 360. Doesn't really matter. We'll hit I there. Now if we go back to the beginning and animate, you can see it rotating. It's actually rotating kind of fast. Um, we can adjust that in a moment though. But you'll notice that it starts off slow, speeds up, and then slows down. That's because of the animations here. Let's quickly uncheck all these except for our circle, which is our curves, I believe, here. Let's, let's rename it. We have that selected. We'll go to our object window here. We will call it Lemon. And now, if we come back to our view here, once again, hover over there, hit control up. You can see we have our lemon selected. You can see the animation. We have it rotating quite a bit there. Um, hit alt and, uh, or there we go. I hold down control and just drag with the center mouse button click to kind of zoom in a little, scale it down so it's not so wide. But you'll see how it kind of curves. We don't want that. Once again, hit A till they're all selected. Control T, shift T, shift T, and choose linear. I always get that backwards. So now if we hit Alt A, you can see it rotating. Rotating is actually a pretty good speed. Again, I rotated it clockwise. The original is going counterclockwise. I just wasn't thinking. It doesn't really matter. Once again, we'll go back to our view over here. Once again, A to make sure they're all selected. And if we go to um, give me a second to remember here. If we go to channel and up to exponent x pull extra x extra polation um, choose constant no choose linear and you'll see what that does is that it continues the animation out in all directions so no matter how long this animation is you can set it to 10,000 frames that lemon will continue rotating the entire time so there you go we have just created the animation and I'll render it out, put it at the end of this video. You all can also go to the links in the description of this video to download the blend file I just created, as well as uh, links to the original one I created. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. I hope that you have a great day.